everybody, and thank you for joining us on Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I know you will find interesting, engaging, and always educational. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. Okay, first of all, y'all, Faith on Friday Extra has gone international. Whoop, 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 whoop. Our guest today is Cecilia Stefan. She is actually in London, England. I love it. And we're talking today about health coaching. And I know you all have a lot of questions, and I'm going to try to get as many answers for you as I can. Cecilia, thank you for joining us. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. It is How my are pleasure. You today? I'm fabulous, and I'm so glad. First of all, you're in London, England. How's the I weather? Am cloudy, as <laughs> usual. <laughs> you know, I always thought that was a stereotype, that it's always raining no. in England, but it, it's a thing. <laughs> it is. It is our reality. Well, always raining. Well, there you go. I appreciate you joining us anyway. So, Cecilia, let's jump in. So tell me a little bit about Cecilia Health Coaching. What is it all about, first of all? Well, um, as I've told you before, my background is in medicine. I'm also a doctor. And in my job in medicine, I have seen many people suffering a lot, especially suffering from chronic illnesses, which, you know, there are quite a lot nowadays and lots of people are suffering from that. And um, a few years ago, I decided that there's a better option. There are better way of helping those people. Um, you know, besides giving them a pill, more of a holistic wow. way. Mm -hmm. That's how I started my business. Wow. You know, it's funny you said that in medicine, there is a better way. One of the things I've always thought about in medicine anyway, and it could be my jaded view on things, is that when you're going to the doctors, they're giving you pills, they're really not making you better. They're kind of just stopping your pain or, you know, that. So you, as a doctor, found a better way. What prompted you to get started as a health coach, though? Well, I think my own experience, my family experience. I have lots of chronic illnesses in my family. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, looking towards my own future and my own aging, I was concerned at some stage that I might follow in their footsteps mm. and develop those chronic illnesses. And I didn't want to. Right. And I started researching and I discovered there was a better way. There mm -hmm. was a way of preventing. And I've done those changes for me. And then I thought, well, if I can do it, other people can do it. That's so true. And it, you know, and now is such a huge time for that health type coaching. So many folks are sick to death, no pun intended, of going to the doctor and not getting any better. So when you're coaching clients, are you talking about, you know, diet, exercise, meditation? What is it that you go over with your clients? All of that. It's mm. a holistic approach. So I look at what, what their diet is and how we can improve on that according mm -hmm. to what their health goals are. Mm -hmm. We look at their movement. Is there any movement going on or a little bit or a lot? And we can adjust that. And obviously, I look at mindset. And when I talk mm -hmm. about mindset, I mean stress. I mean the way we talk to ourselves, the way we think about things. And if the mindset is not right, the other things are not going to fall into place. So wow. mindset for me is a big thing. That is so true. So now, you know... I those of us, especially here in the U.S., we are obsessed, if you will, with diet and exercise, but only in theory, because in practicum, it's too much work. <laughs> so, Well, yes, <clears throat> it can be too much work, but what I try and do, well, I don't try, I actually do. Mm -hmm. What I do is make it really simple. So everything that we do, every little change that we make in your lifestyle fits whatever it is happening at the moment. Wow. So you don't have to do an extra effort. And when you go on holiday or when there's Christmas or when you go for a barbecue with friends, you don't have to worry because you'll have those healthy habits 
and mm. this is who you are. And I like what you said. It's about a habit. It's not about another diet, another exercise regimen. It's not about, it is a habit. And, and that is yes. so good. So now when you're talking about, say, somebody's diet, for instance, mm. I'm not a big potato chip person, but I know people that there are. Don't judge me. Um, do, is it all about getting rid of all the sweets, no longer eating potato chips, you know, that kind of thing? No, there is not about no getting rid of anything. Mm. It's about bringing in all the goodness. Mm. We're focusing on bringing in all the healthy foods. Right. All right. the lovely vegetables and fruits and all the colors and all the nutrients and vitamins. That's what we're focusing on. Yeah. I know you guys are not sure about vitamins. It's in the U.S. We call it vitamins because, you know, we speak American, not English. Sorry. <laughs> vitamins it is that's right so i may have to translate every once in a while but i appreciate it so so when you're doing you know your coaching type deal you know and you're dealing with somebody with chronic illnesses what sort of pushback do you get because i know people that have chronic illnesses and i know that their mindset is kind of already you know resigned to the fact that i have this and so what are you going to do different Yes. So people who have diabetes, high cholesterol, hyper, hypertension, uh, or inflammatory diseases, mm. um, they do feel, some of them, that, well, it's genetic. Mm. So there's nothing I can do. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's and tough. it's in my family. And if my mother has it, I, I, I'll have it. I, I'm having it. So that's, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Or I'm at that age when I'm, when I'm due to have something. Right. So those are the things that, that come up or, oh, I've tried several diets and they didn't work. Mm -hmm. Those are other, you know, those are the things that come up. Those are the pushbacks. Sure. Oh, I bet. And so how do you then as a health coach, knowing that what you know can help them, how do you then go around their excuses? Well, first of all, with, um, genetics we know that that's not true there's so many studies and they've been for years that show that genetics are we are predisposed we all all of us are predisposed to diseases mm -hmm. it's what we do in our everyday life right that makes us you know get the disease or wow. not mm -hmm. we turn those genes on or off oh according my. to what we do mm -hmm. what we eat what we smoke what we snort what we, you know, yeah. what we do. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I explain that. Mm -hmm. And if it's in your family or in your genes, well, you have the power to do something about it. Yeah. And then we look at all the things that they've done and we see why they have not worked. Mm. That in itself is huge because you basically take the onus and put it back on the individual. You can do this and it is preventable, and I'm going to help you. Wow. Yes. That right there is huge because so many of us, you know, think that, well, I have it, my mom had it, so there's nothing I can do. And then, too, it almost becomes a scapegoat excuse. Well, it is what it is, so why even bother trying? And now yes, you and have just said you can fix it. Yes, people feel disempowered because they think it's, it's like you said, it's not in their control. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to do is empower them and show them that actually it is. Mm -hmm. You don't have to suffer. Man. There are ways of going around it and doing something about it. So you, you right. don't need to suffer. You don't need to end up in the hospital. Oh, my gosh. Imagine a world where people took their own health into their own hands knowing, like you said, they're no longer disempowered. You actually have what it takes to make yourself better. So yeah. Cecilia, give us like your top three best advice type deals that you would give a client. Right. Um, eat healthy and eat for nutrition. Eat to feel um, nourished. Mm. And when I say that, I mean, don't overeat to feel full. Don't right. eat because Ooh. you're bored. Don't <laughs> eat because mm, I feel like something because yeah. I have nothing to do <laughs> for nourishment. Mm -hmm. 
So you're basically saying eat to live, don't live to eat. Yes, but it, it can be a pleasurable experience. Mm -hmm. you know, and and, and I, I strongly recommend my clients to make it a pleasurable experience. Oh. Like put a little bit of music on, put a candle oh. up. You don't have to be with somebody to do that. Mm -hmm. Set off the TV, take your phone off and create a nice ambiance. Oh, I love so that. So you enjoy yourself. And oh use gosh. all your senses mm -hmm. when you eat. So you mm -hmm. actually really take pleasure into you know, eating. Oh my gosh. That right there is amazing. So you guys have two just so quick eat for nutrition. And then I love this, create an ambiance, an ambiance. make yeah. it a pleasurable experience. Wow. I never thought of that. Okay. So tonight I am having grilled cheese sandwiches by candlelight. I'm just saying. <laughs> Everybody, there's so much that Cecilia can give you and offer to you, but don't worry, you don't have to get this all written down because we're going to have all of her um, information down in the description, so you will be able to contact her. And Cecilia, I'm guessing that you are still taking clients, even from the U.S., correct? I am. It doesn't matter. We're working on Zoom nowadays, you no. know. You All this technology it. is making us so much closer, yeah. and we can visit anywhere in the world, like now i'm in the u.s <laughs> that's exactly right and now i'm in england and the weather's beautiful yes. i love it so y'all you will be able to get in touch with cecilia i will make sure to have all of her information but don't forget subscribe to our youtube channel also make sure to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment i really am interested to hear what you think about cecilia and her health coaching but cecilia my friend before i let you go we have to play our game <laughs> All right. The game is called this or that. Pretty simple. I'm going to give you the choice of two things and you off the top of your head. Just let me know how it goes. This will be interesting because I'm not sure how some of this translates over the pond, but we'll see. All right. You ready to play? Yep. All right. Here we go. Fire. All right. Android or iPhone? iPhone. Ah, read the book or see the movie? Read the book. Wallflower or Life of the Party? Life of the Party. <laughs> I was going to say, come on, I know that one. <laughs> Summertime fun or winter wonderland? Summertime. Yeah, me too. Eat to live <laughs> or live to eat? Ah, you know the answer to yes. that. Yes, <laughs> eat to live, y'all. <laughs> Out in nature or stay in the house? Out in nature. Mm. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Mm. Drive the car or ride in the car? Drive the car. Ooh, sound like a little control issues there, but I'm not judging. Hey, um, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I like sports or I don't care? Oh, I don't care. Okay. When you were younger, what was your first job? Ooh, I worked in a radio. I worked in the radio for a little bit before I went to med school. Wow. You were a DJ then, or what were you doing at the radio station? Um, I was just, I, I had a little program. I was talking to people and putting music on. And, oh, God, I forgot about that. That was so <laughs> much fun. That's what I'm here for, to help you remember oh, these you. fond and distant <laughs> memories. <laughs> Celia, thank you. I appreciate i cannot tell you how much i appreciate you spending time with me all the way over from london thank you so much thank you for having me and and making it fun of course that's what As we're here always for. <laughs> exactly we want to make sure it's fun all right everybody thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time on extra mm -hmm.